Hey there, this is Veena from Pate Cake, the channel that's about baking and much much more. Okay then, let's get cracking with today's recipe. Welcome to Pate Cake. Today let's make a delicious eggless butter cake with simple icing. You could easily make this an eggless birthday cake with chocolate icing like I'll be doing today. Or you could modify it to suit your own need. You could even make it your Christmas cake. However, this super tasty eggless butter cake can also be enjoyed as it is without any icing. So now let's dive straight into making it right here at Patter Cake. Let's begin by checking out the baking pan we'll be using. This is a 7 inch round cake pan. I've already greased the sides and dusted them with maida and also lined the bottom with parchment paper. Let's set this aside for now and sift 1 and a quarter cups of maida, 2 tablespoons of corn flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Let's whisk this to mix all the ingredients some more. This is 120 grams of salted butter. Let's whisk it. And then add in 120 grams of sugar that I have ground coarsely. Let's whisk the sugar and butter well till the mix becomes light and fluffy. You could use a hand beater to do this if you want. It's just that I try to avoid dragging mine out when a whisk or fork can do the job as easily. Also, there's less washing up to take care of afterwards. Okay, now let's add in 3 quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. In this bowl, I have 150 grams of yogurt. Let's whisk it to make it nice and smooth. That done, we'll now add the flour mix and the yogurt to the other ingredients. But we'll add each of these in three portions, alternating the addition of the flour mix with the yogurt. Like this. The cake batter should have a dropping consistency. But our batter still seems slightly stiff. So we'll have to add a little milk to it to adjust its consistency. I'll begin with just one tablespoon. Now we need to add milk in this recipe only if necessary and only till you get a dropping consistency batter. Our batter now seems to be just right. So let's transfer it to our prepared cake pan. I'll spread the batter to the edges of the pan and then tap the pan a few times to release any trapped air bubbles. I'll bake the cake in my preheated oven at 170 degrees centigrade, that's around 350 Fahrenheit, for about 45 minutes. Here's our eggless butter cake. It took 40 minutes to bake. Let me do the skewer test again for your benefit. It's clean. We'll now let the cake cool in the pan for around 15 minutes and then transfer it to a wire rack. Okay, after 15 minutes, our cake is ready to be unmolded and placed on a wire rack to cool further. Like I mentioned earlier, this cake is soft and moist and tasty enough to be enjoyed as it is. But if it has to be frosted, we need to first let it cool completely for at least 4 hours or overnight. I had covered the cake and let it cool overnight on my kitchen counter. I'll now show you how to frost and fill the cake 
and decorate it with some simple designs. If the cake has a dome, you'll have to first level the top. This one doesn't, so I'll directly slice it horizontally into two layers. I prepared this soaking syrup by boiling one tablespoon of sugar with three tablespoons of water and then cooling it. Let's drizzle a few teaspoons of this on each of the freshly cut surfaces of our cake layers to moisten them a little. I'll be preparing what is called a naked cake. That is, a cake that has no icing on the sides. I'll add chocolate ganache between the two layers and on top of the cake and then decorate the top with a simple buttercream design. This is around half a cup of buttercream icing. If you want to learn how to make this, I've added the link up here and also in the description box below. I'll separate around 2 tablespoons of the buttercream and color it yellow. Okay, now let's start icing the cake. So here it is, our eggless birthday cake, or you could say our eggless butter cake with simple icing. Let's cut a slice. Soft and delicious. Only Remember that when it comes to cake decoration, practice makes perfect. And trust me, once you taste this cake, you'll be amazed at how an eggless cake could be so incredibly tasty. Make sure you try out today's recipe. You'll be so glad you did.